Now, hello everyone. Is a new unit. Uh, it's an oil processing unit, oil distiller. Currently distilling a bad, dirty, I would say black uh, diesel fraction. So we're bleaching it. Is what's coming up, out, uh, what's going in in this container I can show you so it's all and dirty I wouldn't say it's dirty it's probably oxidized or it could be something like after the first distillation of the oil you know you can get something like that and then you're running it for the second time and you've got something like that also I believe you can process some uh, colored fuels as well so do some bleaching now here's our temperature we keep the temperature between uh, 320 and 330 uh, I wouldn't recommend to do it any higher because uh, in this case you may experience some smoking so you will fry the fuel not boil it is what we've got out it's bloody wind something something fell down anyway here's a unit from the distance you can see it it's not that high but it's relatively massive let's say fat thing big uh, it's a new construction of the reactor a new new kind of uh, heating elements location within the system uh, here we've got dirty fraction out I just reduced the flow a little bit because it's been too high and uh, it's just getting out once it's just accumulates in uh, in this separator it's getting up accumulates and then flow coming out from here now just keep the constant temperature 327 it's getting up a bit up and down fluctuates just a little bit now what we've got here uh, I just made an extra cooler here and sort of uh, breathing or exhaust pipe uh, it's not smoking if you run it correctly properly um, this one was built especially with intention to bleach not to process oils but to bleach the uh, dark digital fractions so it's a bleaching machine I would say now is a production speed I believe about 15 up to 20 liters per hour I've got three voltage regulators so the thing doesn't run on a f at the full tilt it's just uh, running at 70 percent there's a few elements each cluster runs at 70 percent of its capacity so I don't want to create any hot spots and fry the uh, fraction just want to boil it hi again one more video uh, his production rate it's about I would say in between 15 and 20 liters per hour uh, so the first video output what uh, output was slightly cloudy because it's been the first run all the dust and everything been in a fuel so now we've got absolutely transparent yellow yellowish i would say yellow fuel just compare it with, with the diesel that was was coming in and that that is coming out now just made a little improvement so here's a breather i just made an extra uh, catcher because uh, 
is a slightly f fuming a little bit and uh, all the fumes just were getting down along the tube right in here down here just not pleasant view anyway uh, another one thing I don't don't remember if I mentioned I would recommend to install one uh, thermal regulator at least on one uh, power supply just on one string of the elements to fluctuate it between uh, 310 340 degrees I just do it manually right now increase uh, heat a little bit just trying to check the capability of the unit now we've got temperature rising slightly and it's quite difficult to control the temperature completely with the supply mode and with the sp uh, flow uh, speed flow so I just adjust it let it run away a little bit and now manually switching on and off one string of the elements once it's, once it's reaching the uh, certain temperature 340 degrees but it's not ideal conditions uh, I'm just testing this unit for the customer it's a customer's problem to find all the controlling uh, electronics to control the unit I just done my welding testing and this is it um, I would recommend to have something to control it to keep it on uh, keep it on full automatic mode it's all possible it's not the first unit that I built that's been run on automatic uh, with automatic so just bare bones here running unit and electronics is up to the customer here's an output it's all stable fast thick stream goes well and here's the quality of the fuel okay thanks a lot